smoking. This is not good, but they have expanded. This wood is expanded. So, okay, so just take out the sugar water and the container and refill it. So, I'm wearing a shirt I wore yesterday that smells a lot like me. So it's used to my smell. So there's a huge seam in there. sugar water and put metal and chamomile in that water form so that uh, it's not just pure um, you know cane sugar it's not really good for anybody's body a little little easy okay so this little container holes here in the bottom and uh, I can open it up. It's kind of dried from the sugar water. Yeah, so I'll figure it out and uh, you can see where the honeycomb is attached right here on the working. They would all be able to move in and out. I don't have any need to take them in and out but uh, that's how I would if I were to try to be harvesting off of each of these bars. Just an example would be if I had the honeycomb on here, I would pull it out and inspect it. But I would never try to turn it over because it would break off. I'd have to do this and turn it over. And then I'd be able to see the comb and the honey. Okay, that's what I know so far. I can hear my neighbor's chicken it's getting ready. So, I don't know if you can hear well, but chamomile flower metal in this tea. This had uh, as much sugar, the rest top water, and then poured into here. The remainder filled up with water. So, what I'm going to do is strain that into this container. Hopefully not make an enormous mess all over the bees. It's pretty slippery stuff. smudge myself and the bees a little bit with some uh, mugwort sage because today I would like to actually take one of these out and have a look at them. So a little bit of smoke smudge from my body for the hive. Uh, pheromones that are secreted by the uh, sentry bees it would sort of set off the alarm to the rest of the bees that there was an intruder. That pheromone is kind of dampened down by the use of smoke. So I'm going to use some mugwort sage and uh, smudge myself and the bees' face a little bit. And it's a really nice, prayerful way of being with bees. You know, I've been taking care of bees for thousands of years, longer than people have been living in many parts of the world, in the western cultures. So 
really traditional way of being with nature. Oh, I made a sticky mess. Let's see how they're going to respond to this today. They're making a lot of noise because they're keeping the hive a little bit warmer. I'm just going to give them a little bit of smoke. I'm coming in and going to check them out. So I'm going to try to just look at one of these comb here. Hopefully it won't create too much of a stir. They're pretty active. A little space. off a lot. So this is the first time I've ever taken one of these out of my hive. It's kind of nerve-wracking. You can see they're building the comb on the bottom because there's um, the shape of those bees at the bottom is that they are telling the rest of the bees where to create the comb. The hanging bees there at the very tip are helping create that shape. So they just don't care that I'm here. There's smoke all around. We can smell it. I can smell it. They can smell it. But you can see they've kept off a lot of this hot, uh, a lot of this uh, honeycomb. There's some honey in there that I can see. Can't really tell much more about them. They're very big. I lost track of her. The drones are quite larger. No, that looks like it might be the queen there. I can't quite tell. She could be trying to lay eggs, but... No, maybe more like a drone. Looks about the same size as that other one. So I'm going to give these folks some space. Let them get back to work. A little more smoke. So that as they come back into the hive, I don't want to crush them. should have is a very fine bristled brush to help sweep them in. They don't have with me yet. But they want to go in the hive. It's where they want to be. It's warmer. It's their food source. Some of these ones are going to take some time getting back in there. And they'll all just put, move their way back in there. And then close it up very gently, let them get out of the way, and move this whole grouping together, so there's enough room for them to feel like there's compression, and then they'll get inside, very patiently, letting them all figure out where they want to be, no legs are in the way, and that's it, so, there we go. Well, that was fairly successful. So I think we basically got to see the difference between the drones and the worker bees, female worker bees. That was kind of exciting for me. So, there we go. Hope you're enjoying this. I'm having a great time. <laughs>